Bethesda did it, everyone. They managed to copy No Man's Sky and make another Skyrim game at the same time. Okay, so Starfield looks silly. And it's not looking good for Bethesda because I don't see anyone who actually cares about this game. And from my perspective, at least two to three people I know have always been hyped for a new Fallout. And hell, I was even hyped for Fallout 76, and we know what happened to that dumpster fire. But everyone I've talked about Starfield with is completely non-interested. They don't even care enough to hate it. I thought when Microsoft bought Bethesda, they'd force them to get their shit together, but no. They just told Bethesda, eh, you can keep killing your company, we don't, we don't really care. Do you guys remember Morrowind? One of the first Elder Scroll games that came out in 2000. And two has a lot of NPC memes. Well, Starfield and Morwin share a game engine. Still, to this day, they are using this engine. Do you know where all the bugs in Fallout and Skyrim come from? This ancient engine they refuse to update. The reason Fallout 76 was garbage was because Bethesda refused to make a new engine capable of actual online multiplayer. They tried to modify an engine built in 1997 for online play. And you're telling me this same engine is supposed to work with different planets? You can't even raise the FPS in these games past a certain point because the physics in the game are tied to your frame rate. So if you go above 60 frames per second in Fallout 4, your game will just speed up. Now I will say the visuals in the trailer for Starfield are impressive, especially for an engine that's so old. But Todd Howard also showed Fallout 76 looking pretty good. And that was not the case on launch. I also just don't like this man or Bethesda because when I was bamboozled with Fallout 76, I tried to refund after downloading the game. They told me I couldn't get a refund because I downloaded the game. I didn't even launch the game. The NPCs in the Starfield trailer are also a little goofy. I'm assuming this is also the engine causing this because they all kind of look the same in every Bethesda game. And also building? I'll wait till the game comes out to see if that's any good because uh, in Fallout 76 and Fallout 4, it was not good. If Starfield can manage not to be a complete dumpster fire, I will be impressed. But every Bethesda release since Fallout 3 has has been exponentially worse than the last. So I'll keep my expectations right around here. All right, boys, that's been the video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, like and subscribe and check out my Twitter at Spatins1 and check out my other content using the end screens now. Have a great rest of your day.